the season of zucchini is coming to an end. So I thought, why not for our first video back, create some baked zucchini bread donuts. What's up everybody, I'm Andre, and this is Edible Fitness, the fitness you can eat. Did you miss me? We are back, it is the first episode of season five. I can't believe it's been that long already. To all my new subscribers, hello, welcome. <laughs> But before we continue this video, you gotta hit that like button. Show me some love. Come on, come on. So the first thing you wanna do is shred a zucchini. Now, you're only looking for half a cup after it's been drained of its water. Uh, so half a large zucchini would be sufficient. Well, this is about medium size, I guess. So just gonna shred it. I already washed it, don't worry. Shred maybe most of this, I guess, and then uh, we'll come back, squeeze out the water and weigh it up. Okay, so I'm looking for about 90 grams. 104, 96, 93, 93, whatever, that's good enough. All right, so I'm gonna put that aside. So you're looking for about 90 grams, like I said, about half a cup of shredded zucchini after you've squeezed out the water. Now, all I did is I just used my hands to squeeze out the water. You can use a cheesecloth, your hands, whatever you want, uh, or sieve you know, just to get the water out. So I'm going to put this into a Tupperware, put it back into the fridge, use it for a later date, and we'll move on to the dry ingredients. So in a medium-sized bowl, you want to sift uh, about 130 grams, that's a cup of all-purpose flour. To that, you're gonna add one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon, of baking soda and another quarter teaspoon of salt. Then you're gonna add in your sugar. You're looking at one third cup of sugar and that is um, 65 grams of sugar. Then you're gonna add in your spices. So quarter teaspoon ginger, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg and one teaspoon of cinnamon. Sift those through, squish any pieces that are refusing to go through. Good. Now I'm just gonna use a whisk really quickly to make sure everything is fully incorporated. They're all getting along, they're all making friends. Dry ingredient done. Let's move on to the wet. All right, to, that, was, that was loud. <laughs> <laughs> to a smaller bowl, you are going to add in your uh, milk. So you've got about 65 grams of almond milk or one third cup. You're gonna add 45 grams or three tablespoons of Greek yogurt. Um, I've also done this with sour cream. Uh, that works well also. All right. One egg. and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. So I am just going to take my whisk because it'll be a little faster and quickly whisk this up. Okay, so that is perfect. Only takes a couple of seconds. Next, you're gonna add in your Zucchini, get all the pieces out. And just mix that up. Cool, that's all done. Uh, also, don't forget to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. I forgot to do that. You probably want to do that after you shred the zucchini because you're still going to have some time uh, for it to warm up. All right, so enough of that. You're going to take your wet ingredients 
add it to your dry and just mix like I always say until incorporated now you're gonna think hmm I don't think this is enough uh, wet ingredients but trust me it is it's gonna look really thick and then all of a sudden it's gonna loosen right up it's incredible All right, so the batter is ready to go. Uh, I also, don't forget to, I'm telling you all the things to do you're supposed to do beforehand, but whatever, you, you know. Uh, don't forget to uh, lightly grease some donut trays so you can uh, make donuts, because that's what we're doing. All right, so <laughs> I am opting to use a piping bag just because it makes it easier to uh, get the batter into the trays. You don't have to do it like this. You can use like a scoop, like an ice cream scoop or something like that. Uh, entirely up to you, but this just makes it a little easier. Got my two cupcake, cupcake donut trays. So let's get to pipe in. And it's already going. So you're just looking to get it almost to the top, about three quarters of the way. That's good. And you're gonna move on to the next one. Okay, donuts are ready to go. Oven is ready to go. Uh, they're gonna go in, like I said, at 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. Keep an eye on them though. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'll come back after I clean up the kitchen. done for an added little treat to these donuts uh, we're gonna add a pineapple icing how do we do that so easy so uh, I took some pineapple chunks right and I just blended it up so it gave me this nice little uh, puree that I don't want to spill because then I got to clean up the kitchen all over again uh, and then I'm gonna take some um, icing sugar take some icing sugar and I've got some in here already that I made from before. And a spoon. So here's the trick. You don't wanna add too much pineapple juice to the icing sugar because uh, then you'll have to keep adding icing sugar until you get a consistency that you're happy with. So you don't want something too thick and you don't want something too, uh, too liquidy. So this, you see this? If it does this, that's, <laughs> that's not good. So, gotta loosen it up just a bit. Some juice in there. Uh, this is good, this is good. Just right, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna dip them once and it's gonna have a really kind of thin layer on top. Let them cool in the fridge and then dip them again for a nicer coating. These look so good. They're so soft and chewy and beautiful. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so first of all, like I said, they're soft and they're really chewy. They're fantastic, but um, number one, you totally don't taste the zucchini, like whatsoever at all. But it does have that great little punch of color inside with the little green. I love it. It's so great. Also, having the pineapple frosting on top really brightens up the donut. It's incredible how it kind of just lifts the whole taste of it. You know, it's, oh, it's so good. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. 